Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup collection and I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently than I have done it in the past and honestly I don't remember the last time I even did an updated makeup collection. I don't even know if I've done it in like my new apartment, my new space and I've been here for over a year. Um, I could be wrong but I don't think I have. But the way I'm going to do my makeup collection is I'm going to go like drawer by drawer or category by category just so I can show you guys everything that I have and kind of whether I like them or not and not just kind of fly by everything and I feel like it'll just be a little bit more helpful for you guys and I've been watching makeup collections that are done this way and I like it so much more than me just showing you everything in one video and just showing you kind of how I organize it because honestly I'm not the most organized person in the world like I'm really trying to be but I'm not. Um, so today we are going to be focusing on my first drawer which is foundations, powders, primers, and concealers and I have a lot a lot of good stuff. I'm really excited to start this little series so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because that'd be amazing but yeah let's just hop into it so before we get started I want to share with you guys where I actually store my makeup and I use one of the Ikea nine drawer systems as you can tell there's a lot of drawers and up at the top I just have some knickknacks I first have a vase with no flowers because I have been lazy I have a picture of me and one of my best friends Jen from a graduation I have my cup of Kylie lip kits I now have a problem and then a few more leather little knickknacks and then I also have this cool elephant thing that my friend Liz got me when she was in Thailand at an elephant sanctuary so that is really cool but yeah I've had this system since my sophomore year in college and it's been holding up really really well it does get dirty pretty easy but other than that it's okay alright so enough about the storage let's get into my actual foundation drawer alright so this is my foundation and concealer and powder and primer drawer I'm sorry I can't get a better shot um, it's just the lens I use and all that stuff this is basically everything so I keep my foundations over here I now I have a ton you can't even see some of the ones back here um, I keep my concealers right up here powders and a few primers in here and then a lot of my primers in here so let's just get started with some of my foundations so um, I have the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation this one is pretty good um, I wouldn't say it's like the craziest bestest thing in the world but it's pretty nice if you have dry skin next I have the Tarte Amazonian clay full coverage foundation this stuff is also really really nice especially if you love a good moussey full coverage foundation um, it's a little dark for me it's more of my summer color but it's good and actually a good dupe for that one is this L'Oreal Paris infallible total cover I did a first impression I think on this one and it's pretty nice if you like a full coverage especially for the price and then I also have the um, infallible pro glow from L'Oreal and I do really like this one it's definitely one of my favorite drugs store foundations. Next I have the Anastasia foundation stick. I really like this. I know a lot of people don't but I think it's really fantastic and it works pretty well for me. Next I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, this is a new product that I have recently fallen in love with. If you have dry skin you need this. Like you just need it. Just trust me. You'll love it. Next I have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This one is also very good especially if you're more into a natural finish. And then the last two I honestly haven't used in a while. Um, they are both BB creams. One is from Bare Minerals and then the other one is from Rimmel. They're very comparable. Um, I like the Rimmel one for the summer because it kind of gives you a glow and I really need to use the Bare Minerals one again because I remember I used to really like it. Alright, moving on to the second little compartment. The first thing I have is my A Cosmetic CC Cream and Illumination. This one is pretty good. I like the original one better though, just because the Illumination one has some sparkle in it, which isn't honestly the most attractive thing, and I've had many like guys comment and be like, why are you wearing glitter all over your face? And that's just not like the best reaction at least not for me um, but it is pretty next I have the Aborian BB cream this is seriously one of my favorites I wear it to work all the time it's fantastic totally worth the money um, I have the Clinique even better makeup foundation this stuff is really good as well especially if you like something more light on your skin I have the Tarte BB Tinted Moisturizer, um, and this is a pretty good tinted moisturizer. I always kind of forget about it, but when I use it, I do really, really like it. Next, I have CoverGirl's Ready, Set, Gorgeous. This one is an awesome drugstore foundation. Do they still make this? I want to say that they might be discontinuing this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for some reason, that's what I think I've heard. I don't see why they discontinue it because it's so good, but who knows? 
<laughs> Next I have this e.l.f. foundation. I don't really know which one it is. I want to say it's like a even better or something. I don't really know. But it's okay for a drugstore foundation. Um, next, I have the Soul Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid, and I like this, but I remember it kind of sitting funny on the skin. I don't know, I'm going to have to revisit this soon because I kind of have forgotten. And then the last thing I have in this little compartment is the Becca Luminous Perfecting Foundation, and this one is very weird. Like, you can tell I haven't used it in a while because it's kind of separated, which is gross, but... I feel like it did that on my face, which sounds disgusting, but I don't know if it wore well. Again, another one I'm going to have to revisit. And moving to my last compartment of foundations, the first one I have is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Tinted Moisturizer, and I've actually been using this all week, and I do like it. It's a nice tinted moisturizer with a very convenient pump. Um, next, I have the Lorac Sheer Perfection Foundation. This one I do really, really like. I always forget how much I enjoy it. And again, this is more of my summer color, but it does look really, really nice on. Next one I have is the Smashbox Studio Skin. I picked this up because Casey Holmes talked all about it, and it is also very, very good. Especially if you are doing some, like, photography or filming or anything like that. It's awesome. Next, I have the Milani Concealer and Perfect. This is seriously one of the best drugstore foundations, especially if you want something with full coverage. It's like $10 and fantastic. I have an oldie but a goodie. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. Honestly, I need to get rid of this because this is way too old. I remember really, really loving it back in the day. I have a Korean BB cushion. This is from Innisfree, which I don't know if I pronounced that right at all, but it's in their cute holiday packaging, and this stuff is seriously so, so good. It's everything I want in a BB cushion, and it's just, it's awesome. The last thing I have back here is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. It's supposed to be like a color corrector, but sometimes I just use it all over my face, and it makes your skin look flawless and even and beautiful and all sorts of good. Alright, so moving on to concealers and powders. We'll just do powders first because I think that'll be kind of easy. Um, the first one I have is this new e.l.f. powder. It's a finishing powder and it's from their new like bare skin line. And I've been testing this out all week and I think it's okay. Um, for $6, it's not bad. It doesn't give you any extra like, color or anything, but it's fine. Um, I do have two primers right here just because they don't fit in my other primer section. These are the Lancome Cushion Color Correctors and I really, really like like these um, they're really good for like spot color correcting and they just like I don't know they just work really really well um, I have a few loose powders the first one is from it cosmetics and this is their uh, bye bye pores powder and this stuff is seriously so cool it makes your skin so smooth just from a powder it's crazy and then I also have the translucent loose powder from flower beauty this is like ten dollars and it's seriously the best if you're into baking or if you just prefer like a big loose powder Powder. This stuff is awesome. Next, I have the It Cosmetics. This one has a long name. It's the Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder Foundation, and this stuff is so, so good, especially if you just want to wear a tinted moisturizer, but you want a little bit more coverage, add this powder on top, and you are golden. Next thing I have is from the Estee Edit, and this is their Flash Photo Powder. And it's kind of like this weird blue tone, and it's supposed to be good for photography, and honestly, I haven't really used it that much, so the jury's still out on that one. Then I have the Ambient Lighting Palette from Hourglass. This is seriously one of my favorites. Sometimes I even like to use this for eyeshadow, um, but you can kind of tell it's been worn down, especially that middle shade. But this is really, really good. Next thing I have is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This is a recent purchase slash addition to my makeup collection, and I really, really like this stuff, especially if you have really prominent pores like I do. It's a must. And then I have two press powders. The first one is from NARS, and this is their crystal press powder. It looks like this. It's just a white translucent one. Very, very nice for setting the face. And the other one I have is from e.l.f., and I really just need to get rid of this one because I do not like it. This is their like color correcting powder. Yeah, it does not do any color correcting, so that is a pass. Now, moving on to concealers. The first one I have right here is from e.l.f. It's just some random one. It's not that great, even though it's only like a dollar. I don't think it's really worth the dollar. I have a few from um, Amazing Cosmetics that they recently sent me. The first one is their Amazing Concealer, and this stuff is actually really, really nice. It conceals a lot without looking cakey, which I think is great. And the other one is their Amazing Concealer Hydrate, 
And this one, I'm not so sure about. I've been trying it under my eyes, and I don't see the hydrating part of it yet. But I'm still testing it out, so we'll see. Next one I have is the Tarte Shape Tape. This one is so good. It's seriously worth all the hype that people give it. It is amazing. Um, I have a Naked Skin Correcting Fluid Concealer. This one's in the shade Pink, and this one is pretty good as well if you want some brightening. Um, but I do prefer more of a salmon-y tone concealer. Next one I have is from MAC. This is one of their Pro Longwear concealers, and this stuff does not budge. Like, it goes nowhere, and the littlest bit goes the longest way, so this tube is seriously going to last forever. Next one I have is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This stuff is also really, really good if you want something with a lot of coverage, but it looks very natural, and I'll use this on spots, as well as my under eyes, and it's just an all-around good concealer. Next one I have is the Too Faced Born This Way, and I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with it. I don't really like the smell, and then whenever I use it, I just kind of wish that there's like more, but it gives such a natural finish. It's like your skin but better. I love it for that, but this definitely is kind of like a meh. There are better ones out there, but it's not like bad. Next one I have is the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination from It Cosmetics, and I really don't like it. Like, I don't know. I love the original Bye Bye Under Eye, but this one, first of all, there's like no illumination to it at all, and then it's so hard to blend out. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Next, I have a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer, and this one has been a newfound love of mine. If you have dry under eyes, you just need to get this. Just trust me. It is so, so good. I have another color corrector from Maybelline. This is the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in Brightening. And I don't know, I'm just maybe not so crazy about the pinky concealers, because I like them fine, but I just don't feel like they do enough for me. But I do love the original Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. That's an actual concealer shade. That stuff's amazing, but this I just never find myself reaching for. Next, I have the Maybelline Fit Me, which is super, super old, and I need to get rid of it because I'm sure it smells and is not good for my skin, but this stuff was an awesome spot concealer. If you're in the market for a good concealer for blemishes, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, go with the Maybelline Fit Me. Two more, I have the Smashbox Studio Skin that goes with the Studio Skin um, foundation, and this stuff is pretty good. I'd say the foundation is better than the concealer, but this isn't bad. It does last a really long time, and I do like the fact that it's waterproof, so if you are doing something where, I don't know, you're like hot and humid and sweaty, maybe go with this one. And then the last one I have is the YSL Touche Clot Brightening Little Concealer Pen. I honestly haven't used this in forever, so I'm going to have to bring this back out, but I remember I liked it just on top of my concealer for under my eyes, just to add a little bit of like highlight slash brightening. And yeah, I'm gonna have to bust this one out again because I kind of forgot about it. Now finally, let's talk about primers. So first one I have on top is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. That is a mouthful and I have been loving this. I don't use this in place of my daily moisturizer like some people do. I do this after my moisturizer in the morning and after I like wash my face and stuff, but before I put on another primer. So usually I'll use this and then like a smoothing primer where I need some smoothing. Um, but it just really preps the skin really well. Um, if you have dry skin, you'll love this. Next, I have the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Smoothing Primer. This one is really, really good if you have pores like I do or just texture in general that you just want to be smoother. This is definitely one of the best I've ever tried. Next one I have is a sample from Laura Mercier, and this is their Radiance Face Primer. I used this today, and this one is really, really nice. It feels awesome on the skin, and it gives you like a subtle glow. It's not super, super crazy glowy or anything, but it is very, very pretty. Speaking of glow, the next one I have is the Becca backlight priming filter. If you want to look like a glowing goddess, this is a primer you need. I actually already have a backup that I got for Christmas that hangs out in the very back of the drawer, um, but this is a little pricey, but it's seriously totally worth it, and they actually recently came out with a purple one that I kind of really want to try, but I don't know if that'll be overkill. So if you've tried that one, let me know if it's like worth it. Next, I have a few ones from It Cosmetics. The first one is the Serum Collagen Veil, and this kind of makes my face feel greasy. My mom gave it to me, and I think she really likes it, but I don't know, it feels a little too greasy for my liking. And then the other one I have is their Bye Bye Pores Primer, and I thought I was going to love this because I love their Bye Bye Pores Powder, but it just makes your face look way too white, and then it feels greasy but smoothing all at the same time. It's just very, very bizarre. 
and I'm just not like crazy about it. Next I have the Maybelline Master Prime in Blur and Illuminate. This is seriously one of my favorite drugstore primers. It is so so good. I'm almost out which is kind of sad but it just shows how much I love it. Next one I have is the Smashbox Photo, Fini Photo Finish, I can't talk, uh, Primer Oil, and I remember using this seriously all the time, and I've only made like the smallest dent in it, so I need to bust this back out, because my skin, again, has been super, super dry lately, and I think that will definitely help, and I remember always liking to mix this with my foundation, so that's a pretty good tip. If you have dry skin, but you want your foundations to still look good, mix a little bit of oil with it, so I'm going to have to bust this one out. Next, I have another drugstore one. This is from Rimmel London, and this is their Stay Matte Makeup Primer, and I'm, like, okay with this. Sometimes I'll put it in my T-zone if it's, like, a really hot, humid day, and I know I'm going to get kind of greasy, um, which does not happen often, but I kind of feel like this is a little heavy, but it's also, like, $4. Um, if you have really oily skin, let me know if this works well for you so people can know if this is a good one for oily skin. And then the last ones I have are just little samples. Um, I have some of the Hourglass Mineral Veil, which are great if you have oily skin or if you know that you're going to be wearing makeup all day and you want it to last. This stuff is really, really good. I have two of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primers. These are also really good if you are into smoothing. And I've almost used one up completely, but good thing I have another. I have a sample of the same Makeup Forever Step 1 Blurring Smoothing Primer, which is great. Um, one of the Becca Backlight Priming Filters, which is good, especially for travel, because the other one is huge. And the last one I have is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I think I got this in a Sephora Play. Actually, I think I got, like, all of these in Sephora Play. And I don't know if I've used this one yet. I don't know. I don't think so. All right, y'all, so that's everything for this part of my updated makeup collection. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up so I know, and subscribe if you haven't already, and in the comments down below, let me know what category of makeup you want to see next. We can do, like, blushes and bronzers and highlighters, or lip products, or eyeshadows, or whatever you want to see. Just let me know, and I can totally do that next. So, yeah, that is everything for today, and I will see you guys next time.